Hey planner friends, Helen here and welcome. Today I will be decorating my health and wellness journal, which is my Hobonichi A6. I brought in a sticker sheet by Wonton in a Million. It is Slytherin themed. And I also brought in Date Dots and Days of the Week by Hubman and Chub Girl and my script or text stickers by Sticker Packed from Etsy. And this one is a matching washi tape to coordinate with my sticker sheet. This one is full of books, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to quickly flip through my pages from last week so you can see what it looks like after I've journaled in it. The only day I didn't journal is for Sunday, which is tomorrow. But for the most part, here it is. I absolutely love last week's theme because it's all snacks and avocado, which today I actually had a breakfast burrito with um, bacon and eggs and fresh avocados. And it is just so delicious. I love, I love avocados. All right, so here's a quick flip through of my Hobonichi weeks. I started in February and then we're gonna go through March. Um, I did say that I future plan, so I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you guys too, but here's how it's looking. I'm absolutely loving it in here. My Hobonichi weeks is my catch-all where I keep track of um, appointments, what I plan on cooking or what we ate, a special memory for that day, and just anything in particular like that I have to do that week. This is my second Hobonichi Weeks, which is actually my husband's and he didn't use it. So I carefully took off all the stickers and whited out any marks and I decided to make it into a highlights of my week. And I'm actually using only Shine Sticker Studio stickers in this. And I absolutely love how it looks. Um, so that's something I may show you guys how I decorate it because I still haven't decorated next week because I'm still, um, I still need to take a picture for tomorrow. So I already have some of the pictures printed. And so, um, yeah, I'm thinking about showing you guys how I decorate my um, memory I, I don't know how you call it, memory planning journal. So by the way, I got that um, washi cutter uh, for free for if I purchase like I think $50 in Wonton in a Million. And I, I've i never purchased from uh, their shop before, but uh, I was signed up to their, uh, what is it called? mailing list and I got an email and uh, I really liked what I saw so I went on the website and you know I just start putting stuff in my cart like just to see how how much like the amount I want and it turns out like I was gonna get the washi tape or washi cutter for free so I was like ooh, I'm gonna get it uh, because I fell in love with this Slytherin uh, washi tape. And this is the only reason why I actually purchased from them. I did buy other um, stickers with um, matching washi tapes, but I'm really impressed with the quality and just the uh, detail on the washi tape itself. Uh, this has to be, I think, in my top five favorite washi tapes that I own. Um, not only because it's Slytherin, but because just the quality and uh, the colors, it's like it's very crisp and vibrant. And I really like that. Not to mention the foiling on it. I really love it, you guys. And it's the sticker that I got uh, is actually... Uh, a washi sticker now I've never used washi stickers on my planner here I mean I've used washi stickers before but I didn't realize that the sticker sheets that I purchased are washi paper if that makes any sense and also I'm sorry if I'm off camera here I didn't realize that I was off camera but um that will be fixed in in a little bit <laughs> but 
But yeah, I didn't realize that I purchased washi paper sticker. So when I got it, I was like, I wonder how it's going to work because I wonder if it's going to be too see-through. I mean, like I've used washi tape, but you know, that's a given, like it's going to be see-through. But I was actually pleasantly surprised that that the grids didn't uh, show through as much as I thought that it would. And so I was really happy about that. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using the other uh, sticker sheets that I bought from Wonton in a Million. I got a bakery one. I also got a, I think I got a boba. I'm not, no, no, I didn't. I, I don't even remember you guys. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful week last week. Uh, last week was very chilly here in Maryland. Um, I also mentioned in my last video that last week I celebrated my 25th wedding anniversary. It was on a Tuesday. Uh, we decided to uh, go uh, see the cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C. It's about a 20 to 30 minute drive depending on traffic, but luckily it wasn't too bad and um I didn't realize it was going to be super super cold I mean like it was going to be in the 50s between 50s and 60s so I thought we would get away with wearing just hoodies but unfortunately that wasn't the case it the wind was blowing right against us but my gosh you you guys it was so beautiful um it was sunny which really helped and um it was just a beautiful day and I was happy to spend it with my husband and my girls and it was so sweet because my oldest daughter wasn't gonna come with us she was just gonna stay home and then last minute she said you know I want to come with you guys and then when we all got in the car I asked her what made her change her mind and she said she didn't want to take moments like these for granted and that 25 years of uh, being married to you know, her dad is, is a big uh, deal. So she wanted to spend that day with us. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so sweet. And she's like, don't ruin your makeup, mom. But I was like, oh, like she really made my day that day. And I, I love that she said that. All right. So if you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Helen and I been planning since December last year. I started my journey in planning and I work on two planners, which is my Hobonichi Weeks, which is a catch-all. And this one is my Hobonichi A6 and it's my health and wellness. I'm diabetic, blood pressure. So I like to keep track of that stuff so that when I visit my doctor, I have numbers to show them because my goal is to really, I don't want to be taking all this medicine anymore you know so um this helps me uh keep track of you know how much i eat or what i eat during the day uh so that you know i can i can be better and um i've really been pleased like ever since i started my health and wellness journal i've actually been uh seeing better numbers and i'm I'm super happy about that because I'm more aware of of what I'm eating, what I'm buying at the grocery store, and um, I really think it's helped me a lot. And it's actually helped me decide, you know, what I want to cook, if I want to snack. Um, so I also mentioned the week before last, um, I got a partial refill on my insulin, but then now it's like. I need my next set of refills, which they haven't even called me for that. So I'm going to call them tomorrow for it. Um, so yeah. And then let's see what else. Yesterday, I had a chat with my uh, crafty friends. Once a month, we have a crafty chat on Discord and we uh, craft you know, craft and then chat and, you know, have some laughs, tell stories. So it's really nice. You know, it's nice to have friends that you can chat with, with your craft, someone who understands what you, you like. And, and we were talking about like how I feel like card making has taken a step 
you know, step back for me because I'm super into planning now. And for some of you who don't know, I have a card making channel and I've had it about almost four years now, like since COVID hit. And that's the reason why I started it is because, you know, I wanted to see what it would be like. And um, I didn't think it would last this long, but it actually, you know, bloomed into something beautiful. I've met so many wonderful people and um, yeah, it's just been a really fun journey. And of course, I'm going to continue doing that. But um, yeah, I was telling them, you know, I enjoy planning just a little bit more. And they're like, I think we all go through phases because one of them is uh, going through a crochet phase. Another one is going through a sewing phase. And crochet is something like I really want to learn. My daughter taught herself, my oldest one, how to crochet with one of the Woobles kits. And now she's confident enough to actually buy uh, like, what do you call it? Blueprints or, you know, to create other uh, different uh, stuffed animals or something like that. And And I might have to sit down and watch her do it just or like we're gonna do it together I'll probably get a woobles because I got her a woobles kit like I think for her birthday or as a present last year and we always talked about like taking lessons but never really got around to it and 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 if she can do it why can't I right you guys like I want I really want to learn and then um some of this stuff she made is like a cat toy for her cat. And uh, she plans on making Easter eggs so she can hide it around the house for her little sister to find. I thought that was really cute. And so, you know, I might do that with her, like help her out with that, because uh, I think that would be a fun, easy project to do together. All right, so let's talk about the planner now. Back to planning. Uh, so I'm really loving the little um, detailed stickers like the stars to go around my bigger images. And this one right here, what do you call this? The Quidditch, how do you pronounce it? Quidditch, Kidditch, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> this one was giving me the hardest time. And right there, it's already straight. Why am I even you know, fiddling with it. I shouldn't be doing that. But, you know, like one of my friends said, like people with astigmatism see things crooked and I must be seeing it crooked because um, now it's definitely super crooked. But I love the little stickers that that dress up the bigger stickers like the Quidditch balls and uh, the triangle and the... Um, lightning strike you know the little feathers so I was really uh enjoying myself uh decorating this uh my spread I'm also appreciative of the person who commented on my channel when I first started I forget her name but she said you know you can make any stickers work for your planner and that really stuck with me because i always thought like you had to have like the proper sticker sheet or sticker kit to decorate your planners so for example i'm working in my hobonichi a6 and i'm using a hobonichi cousin uh sticker kit um if i hadn't read that comment i would have been stuck in I need a Hobonichi A6, otherwise I can't use any other kits, if that makes any sense. So I was really thankful and happy that I received that comment because if it wasn't for that, I would I would probably be stuck buying, like being in the mindset of having to get A6 kits. So, um, so thank you to that person who... Uh, uh, gave me that advice because now I don't have to settle for a kit because I noticed a lot of kids are like Hobonichi cousins and there's not really many kits for the A6s and that's okay you know because I think like like I just noticed like the A6s are pretty much the mini version of a cousin and so all I have to do is uh, trim the 
the washi if it comes with, if the kits come with a washi i also find that i'm loving the look of having washi on the top and bottom i just feel like it hugs the page and i really love that look all right so here i'm adding my gratitude sticker and you'll notice my placement here will uh, change so if i notice i have more room i'm gonna go like right above the line so for example here like instead of me putting it below the bottom line i put it on the top because i noticed like i have more space there and um adding the gratitude is something that i started this month and i really love it because i love reading what i'm thankful for each day and that has really put a lot of uh i guess positive vibes in my day so if i'm feeling down and i see something positive it actually just um changes my mood in a way uh so here it's so cool that these little uh, rectangle stickers here look like stamp sets so it doesn't even look like boxes to me it just looks like uh, stamp stickers if that makes any sense and instead of me putting it straight like i decided to turn it in a playful way and i really like that look because it just it just looks so cute and here is what i'm talking about that i was afraid that the grids would show through because it's washy but it actually um didn't didn't um ruin the image um it was it was light but it wasn't like super prominent and i like that a lot and so here i'm just taking the rest of the tiny stickers and when i'm putting down the stickers i like to do kind of like three points or like a visual triangle it's something that i do in card making so um you'll notice like i'll have like three different points as long as it looks like kind of like a triangle and um yeah it just looks really more um uh, like it looks pleasing to my eye it looks well-rounded and i love the look and yeah and I'm trying to use up all the stickers, but unfortunately I was left with like two. Um, so that's something I'll just have to save for a rainy day or the next time I use another Slytherin kit. All right, and for the final finishing touch, I am highlighting the uh, side where I will be journaling in. I'm also going to highlight where I'll be writing my gratitude. I'm using a mild liner and it is gray. And then the zig dots that I used for the point, the circle points there, that is like a greenish gray color. Uh, so this is like super unnecessary. You don't have to highlight your, your pages at all. This is just something that I, I enjoy I enjoy seeing the color and yes, it looks super dark right now, but like once um, I start writing on it, it's just a hint of color in the background, which I think gives the page a little more pizzazz and um, more, more color. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but yeah. Um, so tomorrow or Monday, I'm going to plan to decorate my memory keeping weeks just so I can have another uh, different type of planner to show you guys. And then once it's April 8th, the week of April 8th, I can uh, start resuming the planning on my catch-all Hobonichi weeks. And then if you guys enjoy the memory keeping one, um, I may continue to uh, show you how I decorate that. So here is the finished uh, product. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me session. I really love how these pages turned out and thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.